Hey, it's your boy Jack Kubert, and in this video, I'll be stopping you from using the beginner's last layer to using four look last layer. Four look last layer is the very beginner's version of doing two look last layer. In two look last layer, there are 57 OLL algorithms, 21 PLL algorithms, making it a total of 78 algorithms you will have to know in order to finish the last layer. Luckily, using four look last layer, we're gonna make the algorithms go from 78 to only having to know 18. And now grab your cube and let's get right into the first step. Step one of four look last layer is orienting your edges. Besides having your edges already oriented after doing your last pair, there are three other possible cases that you can have. Starting off with the very first possibility, the bar. So the way you're gonna hold it is horizontally like this and you're gonna go F, sexy move, F prime, making your cross on top. And now for our very second possibility, which is the hook case, you wanna hold it just like this. And it's the same exact algorithm, except instead of doing F like this, you're gonna go ahead and do a wide F. So wide F, sexy move, wide F prime, making your cross on top. And now for our very last yet most annoying possibility you would get is just the dot. And you're gonna be solving this by using both of the previous algorithms. And the way I would like to do this is F wide, sexy move, F wide prime, and then U prime, and then solving it like normal for the bar case. F, sexy move, F prime. Now that you've oriented all your edges, here are the seven OLL cases that you could possibly get. Starting off with the very first one, we have soon, and it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look like a little fish, except this corner yellow piece should be facing you. And if you keep rotating the cube, it should always be facing you the entire time. And holding the block just like this, you're gonna do this algorithm right here. And now for the second case, this is a anti soon. So it's the same exact case basically, except this time that corner is not facing you anymore. It is facing away. And what you're gonna do is you should have it all the way back over here, having this block facing towards the back right. And you're gonna do this. And now for the third case, we have a bow tie, and you're gonna recognize this by these corners pointing towards you. You're gonna hold it just like this, and you're gonna do this. For the very fourth case, you have this huge block over here, and you have these corners pointing out towards the side, and you're gonna hold it just like this, and you're gonna do this algorithm. And now for the similar case, except this time, the corners are pointing towards you facing this way. You're gonna do this. And now for the very sixth case where you have these corners pointing outside and then you have these corners pointing out that way, you're gonna hold it just like this and you're gonna perform this algorithm. And now last but not least, similar case, except this time it's symmetrical. You have these two corners pointing out this way and then these two corners pointing out towards the back. So it's a double headlights case. And you're gonna do this, F, triple sexy, F prime. And now for step three, you already oriented your corners, but now it's time to permute them. There's only two possible cases you could get, which is one with headlights and then one case without any headlights whatsoever. So we're gonna start off with what to do when you finally find your headlights, meaning same color. And what you're gonna do is put it towards the back and you're gonna do this algorithm right here. So really pay attention to the finger trick here. You're gonna go ahead and regroup the cube. So thumb on to the bottom and do this algorithm. Just like that, you should have all your corners solved. Now, when you don't have any headlights, you're gonna go ahead, do the same algorithm twice. So from here, it doesn't matter where you start off. You could just do it from here. And then you should find some kind of headlights somewhere, which boom, I find it right over here, have that behind me. And then I'm gonna go ahead, do it again. And then from here, I should have all my corners solved just like this. 
Now, this one's gonna be a bonus algorithm for when you have no headlights. Instead of doing an A-perm two times, the previous algorithm I just showed you guys, you could do this instead, which is the algorithm for a white perm, which I will show how that looks like right here. And this is how it's gonna go. Regripping the hand. And then doing the F prime pull with your index finger and then continuing on, regripping your hand and then when you do your sledgehammer, you're gonna use your thumb at the end. Just like that, you should have all your corners oriented. These are gonna be two extra bonus algorithms. I say two even though there's three cubes here because this one was the previous algorithm with the headlights towards the back, but this should also help you know how to do these cases over here where all it requires is a corner permutation. So for the very first one that I previously showed, the way you could recognize this, which luckily you already have your headlights towards the back, so if you do that same exact algorithm I showed you before, it would just straight up solve right away. But the way you would recognize this is that you have this block over here and you have opposite colors going on right in front of you here. And then you're gonna go ahead and do this algorithm. Now for the very second A perm, you're gonna notice that when you have the headlights towards the back, you're gonna have the block facing left and you're gonna notice that the opposites are on the right side instead of this side, right? So this time you're gonna to wanna to put the corners facing this way. And again, you're gonna to wanna to regrip and then do this algorithm right here. And now for the very last case where you're gonna go ahead and permute the corners, this is an E-perm. And the way you're gonna recognize this is that, of course, all the edges are oriented correctly but uh, the corners are not. And the way you, you're gonna know that you're solving this correctly is that these corners that are sideways are the opposite to this edge. So if you were to do it to the side next to it, you're gonna notice you're doing it wrong. You have it on the wrong angle, I mean, if these are the same exact color. And when you do the algorithm on the very wrong side, it leaves you with this instead of a solved cube, which is just an H perm, which isn't a bad algorithm, but still sucks that you're gonna have to do two PLLs. Now getting onto the algorithm, I highly suggest that you practice doing your D moves like this. So D pushing that way and then a push over here with your ring finger. So now going towards the algorithm, you're gonna do this. The fourth and final step where you did not get any of those cases shown previously, but all your corners are solved. So now here are the cases. First case, we have this U perm where the edges need to go counterclockwise. So this one needs to go here, this one needs to go here, this one needs to go here. In my opinion, the fastest way to recognize this is that this side is already solved and the, the, your very right side is opposite. And if the right side is not opposite, that means you have gotten this case right over here where it is going clockwise instead. For that very first case, I'm gonna go over that very first algorithm and it's gonna go like this. And now for that second U-perm where it's going clockwise, you're gonna go ahead and use this algorithm. So this one is really easy to recognize no matter how it's oriented because everything is opposite. It kind of looks really cool and it's also a really cool algorithm. So follow along and it's just this right here and you have to do middle slices for this one. So really get comfortable using your ring and then middle finger to go up the middle. So now the algorithm is like this. For the very last one, the way you're gonna recognize this is that these two need a swap and then these two need a swap. It kind of looks a little cool from here, but here's the algorithm. Plenty of algorithms were shown in this video and it can be pretty intimidating, but I do have a video on how to learn algorithms even faster and I'll have that linked in the description below. Hopefully this tutorial is a big help to the start of your cubing journey. And if it was, dropping a like would mean a lot and subscribing would definitely help push me to make these videos. Keep practicing and keep pushing for more cubing gains. That is all for this video. Peace out.